Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Oh my God, oh and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Luke Gallows going in high risk. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron the partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. And there's a kick out at one. Way too early. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya. Here it comes! Looking for! This might be the opportunity he needed. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got caught, he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Could be getting ready for a trip to counter here. Here's Anderson locked. When Carl Anderson catches you in the magic killer, it's not a matter of if you're going down. It's a matter of how long you're staying down. He's fighting from underneath. He's too quick for him there. He's fighting from underneath. Harsh impact. He's fighting from underneath. The first time the magic killer was witnessed on Monday Night Raw, it was realized that it's a maneuver that can not only change the course of a match. Oh, right to the side of the face. He might have just ended this. For a kick out. You have to put in a little more work than that. He is a one man gang in there. Oh no. We know what this is. Here's his chance. He's fighting from underneath. And a kick out. Much to nobody's surprise. Still plenty of ammo left in this machine gun.
Oh, the reversal by Carl Anderson. The ref's out. No good can come of this, Michael. Big time slam. Vicious. What should Carl Anderson's mindset be at this point in time? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. You know what he's thinking right now, guys? He's thinking the third time's the charm. He's already gone for his finisher twice. The third time might just do the trick. At least he hopes it does. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. Oh, but he's got to capitalize now. Look at him go. He's battling back again. Here we go. Carl Anderson is setting up. Boom! With the cutter! Just an all-out of DDP's career began in the late 1980s as a manager in the AWA. Page then turned up in Florida where he sat alongside the great Gordon Soley as an announcer day of the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Just an all-out assault on DDP. Oh, how resilient was that? I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. In the 90s, WCW is where Diamond Dallas Page emerged as a competitor. DDP launched offensives against the NWO, Ric Flair, Sting Goldberg, and perhaps his greatest rival, Randy Macho Man Savage. DDP earned championship after championship, which included three reigns as the WCW World Heavyweight Champion. In 2001, DDP took aim at WWE superstars, most notably the American Badass. Uh oh! Size and a mark. In trouble! Doesn't even see it coming! This one is over. There it is. Now the question Can Paige finish? Get this guy some smelling salts. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy, as usual. Wow, what a gritty performance. Carl Anderson looking downright dominant right now. I don't think he can take any more. He's fighting from underneath. Inverted DDT. Starting to struggle. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. And he finds a way free. Wow, that was just pure determination, Cole. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. He's fighting from underneath. Carl Anderson definitely looks off his game here tonight. He's fighting from underneath. One, two, and he gets the shoulder up. Definitely has his work cut out for him. And there's his speed paying off. Backbreaker. That'll realign your vertebrae. He isn't showing much life here, guys. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE has... Here's Diamond Dallas Page. This could be it. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? One... Two! And he got a near fall out of it. Still plenty of ammo left in this machine gun. Anderson picks him up. Fireman's carry cutter! Warm up the bus. This one is over. Momentum is fully in the corner of Carl Anderson now. He's fighting from underneath.
DDP fought his way to the top of this business. Page can come through the crowd. He can run from the locker room. DDP can come from anywhere, just like the Diamond Cutter. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. This might be it. Oh, my. Got the reversal. P is like uncorking lightning out of a bottle when it comes to diamond. And he got a near fall out of it. Well, it looked like Carl Anderson was on the receiving end of a machine gun, but he rallied to stay alive somehow. What a stop. Good grief. Gotta shake the cobwebs. Carl Anderson with a nice reversal. The Irishman has his Irish up. Grief. Finn Balor starting to stumble now. This tag team match is dangerously quick. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Not today. When it comes to finding motivation, DDP knows exactly what to do. Here's Anderson live and up close. He's fighting from underneath. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Just when you thought he had nothing left. This is Finn Balor's match now. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Really struggling now. Tag team history was made when the first ever...